Welcome back to Chibi Robo, everybody. So, we're at. It's nighttime once again, and today we are hopefully going to finally complete Drake Redcrest's patrol. And we also want to explore the parents' bedroom if at all possible. Anyhow, oh yes, with, the, with this we can now get the foyer warp with the Recyclotron. That would be great. Warps from place to place, placed on both ends of the stairs. This lets us this lets us just instantly warp to the top of the foyer. It's very, very useful. Chibirolo, could you scrap into the Recyclotron? Okay, that's gonna save us so much time. It's a Utoba! I'll set it up out in the foyer. Sounds good to me. The living room. Alright, Drake Redcrest. I'm going to complete your stupid patrol. Sorry, I'm currently also playing a game where the camera's controlled by the R button rather than the L button, so I'm getting those two mixed up. Oh, Drake Redcrest, what's happening over there? How's it going? Silence, fool! An ill wind blows tonight. Has something happened to Mr. and Mrs. Sanderson? Drake Redcrest also heard Jenny weep large bitter tears. Curse you, sadness! I will continue my patrol upstairs. Doggone it. Are we now no longer able to complete patrol? Are you for real? Whatever. I, I know you don't actually get anything for completing patrol. I think you just get happy points. But doggone it. We might be able to do it later on in the game. It was not my fault that I failed last time, though. No. First time, yeah, sure, but... Talk on it, Tao. Oh, hey, I can now show off what, what you can do with the squirter. So you see this water stain here, if we move up to it with the squirter, we get water. And likewise, we see this stain on the wall here, if we shoot it with the squirter, I've never done that before. Okay, you can actually fill up Tao's dish with that. I literally never knew that. But if we spray the stain, we actually get five happy points for that. Which is kind of cool. Drake Red Crest suit anymore. <laughs> At least not for a while. Yeah, I've never actually filled up Tao's dog dish before with water. I wonder if that does something if you do it in the daytime when Tao is near it. That should be a good question. I've never tried that before. Tisk tisk. I love how just the tiniest squirt of water instantly cleans, cleans those stains. Whoop. <laughs> and you have a limited amount of squirts you can do before you gotta suck up more. And you can use the squirter to suck up any liquid stain. So if you go over here for the pretzel goldfish, I mean the oil. We can, uh, we can pick this up as well, but oil I don't think has any purpose in the game as far as using it in your squirter goes. Anyways, off to the foyer. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Chibiro just walks in armed with a gun filled with oil. It's like, you want me to clean? I'm going on a strike, buddy. Say, looks like you found yourself a nice place to rest. Oh, but you still have a lot of work to do. Make hay while the sun shines. It's not shining. So get back in there, champ. Let's go. I mean, I like how enthusiastic Telly is. Oh, and here's the warp. Chibirobo, do you want to know how to use the warp until bot? Yeah, sure. Insert your plug to power it up. When the energy field appears, climb on top of the Utilobot. You'll automatically be transported to the other warp Utilobot. So it takes around 10 power to go uh, power it up. Now we just step on here. And bada bing bada boom, we're at the top of the stairs. And Chibi-Robo got dizzy. It happens, bro. Oh no! Jenny! What's going on? Hello, Chibi. You came all the way up here because you heard Jenny crying, right? Jenny says thank you. Sunshine just gave you 19 happy points. <laughs> yeah, it's the teddy bear who's talking right now. The teddy bear's name is Sunshine. <laughs> wow, you got 50 bucks! The teddy bear's loaded! <laughs> Spread the happiness! Jenny says she's upset because mom and dad aren't getting along. Mom won't let Dad sleep in their bedroom. I want to go into Mom's room, but I can't move since I'm a stuffed animal. Oh, Jenny. Ribba, oh. So interesting. So Jenny seems to be willing to talk to us through the stuffed animals just fine, but by herself, she always talks like a frog. It's kind of interesting. The door's shut. Bomber. Well, we can climb up a little bit. <laughs> Thank goodness I have all this stuff on the door that lets me climb up here. What's all the racket out there? I told you to keep quiet. Oh, it's just you, Chibo. Sorry, I thought you were Jenny's father. She's not even using his real name. I'm not sure if he has a name. I don't think we ever know. I'm balancing our checkbook right now. I need to be alone for a while, okay? <laughs> Chibi Robo got yelled at. And you'd better get to bed too, young lady. Aww. Hm. Well, looks like we can't get into the parents' bedroom tonight. <laughs> Jenny's like, I'm not leaving. <laughs> Screw you, Mom. Don't actually say that to your mom. You're gonna get in trouble if you do that. Mom locks the door at night. But she leaves the door open all day. She looks so sad. This is really sad. Rita, oh. This is having a bad effect on Jenny. I feel so... This is so sad. Jenny's weird, but she's also really sweet. So, uh... Yeah, this is, this is the part where, like, the game starts getting a little more serious. Like I said, it's a, it's a fun and quirky game. But it has an actual, like, serious plot. Which I actually do like. It does a good job with that. Alright, yeah, there's nothing else we can do over there. We can go back to Jenny's room, though. What the heck? These are all bent. Oh wow, their house is actually in kind of a state of disarray. That's, oh, that's unfortunate. 
Jenny's room. Oh, so Jenny's not the one who's just dumping crap on the floor. It's the mummy. Is the mummy also the one who's just had all the junk under the bed? Did Jenny not do that? Is he just like stress eating? I don't know. Hey, Drake Redcrest. Hello, Space Hunter Robo. Look at that. That towering castle. And all the way at the top of it, what do I see? Ha ha ha! A delightful damsel. She gazes down at me with her lost eyes. I can tell her heart aches for justice. Listen! Space Hunter Code Part 4. Love justice with a burning passion. Drake Redcrest must speak to her. She needs my attention. However, a minor obstacle stands in my way. How am I supposed to get up there? Well, you just jumped really high, skyrocketed up to Jenny's room, so I mean, I bet you could just, just jump skyrocket up there as well. Aha! The one called Mort will know what to do. I am at a loss, but the destiny of a space hunter is to find the truth. Bro, I wanted to patrol with you, and you said I sucked so bad that you weren't going to do Well, you didn't say that. You said it with your actions, not your words. Jenny, it's okay to draw. I'm glad you're a good drawer, but, like, you can't draw on the carpet. Anyhow, there's a lot more to Jenny's room that we did not even touch last time we were up here. This must be fake. And thank goodness the point reaches exactly up here. Very convenient, that. Ooh, 300 bucks! Nice. Oh. You can also spray that off the wall, but I don't have water anymore. I only have oil. Jenny, she's been eaten in bed. That's not okay. Maybe she's stress. Maybe everyone's just stress eating. It's clear the family's under a lot of stress, so it would not surprise me. She's just been sucking down Jolly Ranchers in her bed. No, leaving the bag there. Hey, wow, yeah, everyone is just a complete utter slob in this house, except the mom. Oh, it's it's the hat she got for uh, her birthday. That's a nice touch. And there's a frog ring back here. And if we hover over here, it's a red shoe. Alright, let's talk to Mort. He seemed to be the mummy guy, so let's see. Safe was in the room, but my shoebox under the bed makes me feel safe, day or night. What's that? I forgot. Let me introduce myself. I am Mort. Will you listen to my story? Yes, of course. It's about the other night. What the heck is the teddy bear evil? <laughs> oh no, stop, stop! You'll break it! Oh, that's the shoe we just picked up two seconds ago. That is what transpired. 
Sunshine sticker. Wham! Take that sunshine. And chibi door behind it. Ooh, that's a lot of money. We are rolling in the dough. It's like it's like Adele's rolling in the deep, but richer. Oh, what's this? It's the yellow crayon. Ooh, how grand. Jenny's room doesn't have a whole lot of outlets, I've noticed. Is there there might only be like one. shave now. So this is, there's this planter up here which is kind of cool. There's nothing really here but... Anyhow, yeah, you can hover from the planter onto this shelf. You'll remember this is where Sarge was there when he first ordered the guys to attack us. And we can pick up the brick he was standing on. It's the red block. The blocks will come into play much, much later in the game for one of the side quests. Looks like the free rangers are like, Jimmy's upstairs, we can't do training. Which is understandable. One thing I want to do is, we can do more stuff with the ladder in the living room. We haven't explored everything we can. I like how you can even see the reflection in the floor. It's a nice touch. Who's throwing their Kleenexes on the floor? Did that 
darn it. I'm just not enough. Let's get more water. Because the oil ain't doing us any good. Also, if memory serves, there was a shriveled up frog outside that needed water. Never fear, frog! Frida just gave you seven happy points! That's its name, apparently. Spread the happiness! Frida just gave you seven happy points! Spread the happiness! <laughs> the frog's getting greener and bigger every time we spray it. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit! Frida just gave you 13 happy points! Spread the happiness! Nice work! Way to go, Chibi Robo! Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. The frog seems to be saying something. I don't understand the strange language. Ribbit! And we get the frog suit. Somehow. Thank you, Ribbit! I'm fine now, thanks to you. Yeah, the frog gives us a suit that perfectly fits Chibi Robo, and now we can magically understand what it says. Don't question it! <laughs> My boyfriend's lost in that house, and I'm tired of waiting around, Ribbit. Now that you're one of us, you can speak Ribbitese, too. Cool, huh? Isn't it just the greatest, Ribbit? Now that we can communicate, I have to ask you a favor. Could you please find that lost boyfriend, Ribbit? He's probably collapsed somewhere, all alone without even a fly to eat, Ribbit. If you find him, I want you to bring him here. I'm counting on you, Ribbit. Yes, this is our newest suit, the frog suit. I bet Jenny would like this, and if we pose with it... We can bounce. It's cute. Oh, also, this looks interesting. You see this thing sticking up? Go to first person mode. That's the scurvy splinter. As in Captain Pointbeard's lost pirate ship. Let's try digging it up. Kitty spoon can dig up. This was just buried in the backyard? Holy cow. I love the pirate music. Seriously, we only dug it up three times. Like, we scooped dirt three times, which is only a tiny amount, and this popped up. Also, this is hilarious. The scurvy splinter. <laughs> we just fit it in our head. Even though it's like 20 times as big as we are. This game's funny. So as you can see, it's just there, there's so many side quests, but they can kind of overlap. You've cleaned up a total of 191 stains. Time for a cleaning bonus. Your happy point bonus is... 32 happy points. And your moolah bonus is... 121 moolah. Just your very present space. Everyone happy, happy, happy. I love how Chibi Robo has a built-in function that when he's low on battery, he starts expending more battery by flashing red. It doesn't actually expend more battery, but it realistically should make you expend more battery. Chibi Robo, do you need some quiet time with good old television? Oh! That was weird. No, I don't need quiet time with telly. 
I need noisy time with Telly. It's the daytime now. We can make as much noise as we want. Oh, good morning. Your chimney ranking is still 10. In order to get to the next bonus battery, you need 126 more happy points. Well, you're here, Chibi Rumble. Would you like to say? Yep. Yeah. That's going to do it for this episode of Chibi Rumble, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. Now, now that it's the daytime, the parents' door to their bedroom will be open again. And now we can actually go there and explore a bunch. And there's a lot to explore there, so that'll probably be where most of our time is spent. I also want to try talking to Jenny now that we have a frog suit. That should be kind of interesting. Look forward to that, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.